Welcome or welcome back to any help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the equation of the tangent line, an equation in fact, of the tangent line to the graph of f of x. And f of x is a product of two functions at x equals 1. For that reason, because we have a product of two functions, for finding the derivative, which is the first thing you need to do here, you're going to have to use the product rule, which is down here. So f prime of x in this case will be the derivative with respect of x of the first function in the product, which is x cubed minus 2x plus 2 times the second function in this product, which is x plus 2. So we finish with the first part of the product rule, plus we're going to keep the first function, which is x cubed minus 2x plus 2, and we're going to do the derivative of the second function, which is x plus 2. My next step, I'm going to do the derivative and the derivative of the first function here. That will be 3x squared minus 2 times x plus 2. And I'm going to move to the second part where you have x cubed minus 2x plus 2. And the derivative of x plus 2, this one here, is just 1. I'm not going to do any simplification because I need to find the derivative at 1. So that means we just replace x of 1 and we evaluate this numerical expression. And let's see what we get. The first parenthesis is going to be 3 times 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. The second parenthesis is 3. Let's move to the next group after the plus, and we have 1 cubed, that is 1, minus 2, that is negative 1, plus 2 is 1, and times 1. So we have 1 times 3, which is 3 plus 1. The derivative at 1 is, sorry, this is 1, is 4. And this one is nothing else than the slope of the tangent line. So for writing the equation, we need also a point. And since we know x equals 1, I'm going to do f of 1 to find the y coordinate. And that will be, again, we're going to plug 1 in the f function, 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 plus 2 times... 1 plus 2, and in this case we have again 1 cubed, which is 1, minus 2, negative 1, plus 2 is 1, times 1 plus 2 is 3, so that will be 3. So the point will be 1 and 3, so now I can go to the last part, I'm going to write the equation, y minus y1 equals n times x minus x1, the point slope form, and we have here y minus y1, this is 3, equals m, m, if you remember, was 4, x minus x1, x minus 1. This is an equation, this is a point slope form. If you simplify, you get the d equation, which is the slope intercept form. y minus 3 equals 4x minus 4, and add 3, and we have y equals 4x minus 1. Graphically, you can see what we just did here. Uh, this is y equals 4x minus 1. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.